Ilk Gundogan, born on 24th October 1990. Grace Kirchen, in German, with a height of 1.8 meters, position playing as central midfielder. Agent Kai N. Kai K I N Partners with German citizenship. In season 2022-2023, he appeared 31 games, won eight goals, and provided the five assists. No yellow card, no double yellow cards, and no red card. In his life, he played for. Shalika 04, Shalika 04 to Erita 06 Youth, Eriba 06 Youth to SSV Barrios, from SSV to Bohum and 17, from Bohum and 17 to Bohum and 19, from Bohum and 19 to Nuremberg, from Nuremberg to Borussia Dortmund, from Borussia Dortmund to Manchester City, from Manchester City to Barcelona. Total statistics of Last season, he played 31 games, won 8 games, and provided 5 assists, and played 295. Average of 295 minutes per goal, and played 2,359 minutes. In the Champions League, he played 13 games, and won 1 game, and provided won 1 goal, and provided 2 assists. In the community, he played 1 game. FA Cup played three games and won two goals. In the English Football League, played three games. In his career, he won one Champions League with Manchester City 2022-2023. Five English champions 2023-2022-2021-2019-2018 English Premier League with Manchester City. One German champion with Borussia Dortmund in 2011-2012. Two English FA Cup winner, 2023 with Manchester City and 2019. One German Cup winner, 2011-2012 with Borussia Dortmund. Four English League Cup winner, 2021-2020-2019-2018 with Manchester City. Two German Super Cup winner, 2014-2015 season and 2013-2014 with Borussia Dortmund. Two English Super Cup winner. With Manchester City 2020 and 2019, with Manchester City, one German regionalist West champion, one 2021 2011 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, he will join La Liga Club Barcelona on 1st July 2023. Gundogan joined the Nuremberg in 2009. He signed for Borussia Dortmund in 2011, winning the Bundesliga and DFP Pokal in his first season. In 2013, he helped Borussia Dortmund reaching their UEFA Champions League final since, 20, since 1997. After playing 157 matches and scoring 15 goals for the club, Gundogan signed for Manchester City in 2016, where he played, where, where he would go on to win five Premier League titles, four English Football League Cup, two UEFA Cups, and the UEFA Champions League in 2023 as a part of a continental triple. Gundogan made his senior debut for Germany in 2011 after previously being kept by the under-18, under-19, and under-20, and under-21 teams. He was chosen in Germany's squad for UEFA Euro 2012, the 2018 FIFA World Cup, UEFA Euro 2020, and 2022 FIFA World Cup. Gundogan was born in Gerske Chicken. North Rain West Faria to Turkish parents. His grandfather on his father's side was a guest worker who moved from Beske Seal, Turkey, to Ratha region of Germany to work as a miner while his wife stayed in Turkey with their children where they grew up and went to school.
having grown up in Igles Kitchen, Gundogan boyhood affiliation was with Sharik Zero for with which he had a brief spell as eight year old before being forced to take a break from the sport altogether because of growth problem. He subsequently confessed that this was one of the worst disappointments in his life, one which led him to reject Sharika when the club offered to sign him up again when he was 13 years old, fearing he would be somehow disappointed again. Gundogan eventually came through Bochum Youth Academy in 2008. He became playing for the club's reserve team before signing for Bundesliga 2 club FC Nirombaga in 2009. In his first Bundesliga match on 19 September 2009, away against Bayern Munich, he made his first assist. His first goal for Nirombaga came on 20, 20th February 2010 in a home match against Bayern Munich. On May 5, 2011, Gundogan signed a four year contract with another Bundesliga club. Borussia Dortmund, he made his debut on 23rd July in the 2011 DFP Super Cup against Schalke. After a nil draw at Arena of Schalke, he scored Dortmund's first attempt in the penalty shootout, which they won on. They went on to lose 4-3. On 17th December, he scored his first goal for Dortmund in a 4-1 victory away to Payback. He played once for the club's reserve on 22nd February 2012, being replaced at halftime by Rico Benateri. In an eventual 2-1 win over one FC Kaiser Slauten 2 at the Stadion Lotte Eden on 20th March, Gundogan scored one 20th minute goal, which saw Dortmund defeat. Goffin, Roth, and progressed to 2012 DFP Poker Final. He played the entire final on 12th May, a 5 2 victory over Ben Munich that gave Dortmund their first domestic trip double. In the 2012 2013 season, Gundogan was one of the central figures of Borussia Dortmund as they reached their 2013 UEFA Champions League final. He was praised for his play in two semi-final matches against Real Madrid. On 25th May 2013, he scored the equalizer from penalty spot in the 29th, 69th minute to keep Dortmund's hope alive against Ben Munich in the Champions League final, played at Wembley Stadium in London. This was his first regular time penalty kick in the game for Dortmund Bayern went on to win 2 to 1. Gundogan scored in 2013 DFP Poker Super Cup on 27th July as Dortmund won 4 to 2 against Rivera Bayern Munich. In August, a back injury picked up while on international UT ruled him out for the full year. Gundogan signed a new contract with Dortmund in April 2014. To keep him at the club until 2016. Gundogan scored in the penalty shootout victory over Bayern Munich on 28th April 2015, which sent Dortmund to the 2015 DFB Poker final. Two, two days later, it was announced he and Dortmund would not be renewing his contract after its expiration on 30th June 2015. However, on first July 2015, Gondogan signed the contract extension to keep him at Dortmund until June 2017. On 2nd June 2016, Gondogan signed the Premier League club Manchester City on a four-year contract for an estimated transfer fee of £20 million. Pounds. He was the club's first signing under former Bayern Munich. Manager Pepe Guardiola Gondogan made his debut on 14 September, playing for the first time in four months in the 2016-2017 UEFA Champions League group stage. 
at home to Borussia Mönchengladbach. City won four to nil. Gundogan won a penalty that was converted by Sergio Kuni Aguero. Three days later, Gundogan started in the squad and scored with a raw right-footed shoot against Barnamos in a four nil home win. The squad a brace and set up Aguero's goal against West Bromwich Albion in a four nil win at Hawthorne's on 29 October 2016. He continued his run of form by scoring twice against Barcelona in a 3-1 win at home in the group stage of the Champions League. On 14 December in 2016-2017 Premier League game against Watford, Gondogan was substituted in the 44th minute with a knee ligament damage. Pepe Guardiola stated the player would be out injured for severe months, it was later confirmed that Gundogan tore his crucial ligament in his right knee and would miss the remainder of the season. On 16 September 2017, Gundogan made his first appearance for Manchester City in nine months, coming as on as a substitute in the team's 6 nil 2017-2018 Premier League win away at Watford. Three months later, he scored his first goal of the season with a header assisted by Loisani, a goal that gave City the lead in their 4-1 win against Tottenham Hotspurs. On 13 February 2018, he scored a brace with one goal in each half as City won 4 near against FC Basel. It in away leg of their round of 16 star in 2017-2018 Champions League. On 4th March, he set two Premier League passes record, records in a one near home win over Chelsea. One for most, one for most passes attempted 174 and one most passes completed 167 in a single game. The previous holder of both records have been his former teammate, City teammate Yaya Ture, who completed 157 passes from 168 attempts against Stoke City in December 2011. On August 29th, Gundogan signed the four-year contract extension with City. On 21st September 2020, he tested positive for COVID-19, which obliged him to self-isolated Safe isolation for 10 days. This was announced on the same day that City, Manchester City's final game of the season against Wolverhampton Wanderers was to be played. After recovering, he came back to the squad and scored his first Premier League goal of the season on 15th December in a 1 1 home draw against West Bromwich Albion. On 7 February 2021, Gundogan squad. Twice in a 4-1 away league win over Liverpool, sealing City's first win at Anfield since 2003. On 12th Feb, he received the Premier League Player of the Month award for his performance throughout January. On 12 March 2021, he received a Premier League Player of the Month award for the second consecutive month with four goals and the one assist in five games. In doing so, he became the first player of Manchester City to win back to back award for the club. He was City's highest goal scorer of the league season with 13 goals. On 29th May, he played with his second Champions League final and the first ever with Manchester City, which ended in a 1 0 defeat against Chelsea. On 22nd May 2022, he scored two goals in 3 2 home victory against Aston Villa on the final day of 2021-2022 Premier League, a result which clinched the Premier League title for the club. Gundogan was chosen by his teammate as club captain on 14th August 2022, replacing departing Fernandinho on 6th May 2023. He scored both goals in a 2-1 win over Leeds United which secured his club's 10th league win in a row during the 2022-2023 Premier League. On 14th May, Gundogan scored twice against Everton.
squared squared against the Everton. One of his goal being a clever freak and the other being a well taken free kick. Gondogan commented that the player has shown again and again his quality and his importance. Such a performance contributed greatly to City, eventually winning the 2022-2023 Premier League. On 3rd June 2023, Gondogan squad the quickest goal in the FA final history with a long range volley within 12 seconds of the 2022 final against Manchester United. The match ended as a 2 1 victory for City with Gondogan squad the second goal with the second volley. Owing to his performance in the match, he was praised as magnificent by journalist Fi. McNutty and was voted as man of the match for by readers of BBC Sports on June on 1st June he won his first Champions League title after a one nil victory over Inter Milan in the final becoming the first captain of the club to lift the European Cup on 26 June 2023 Gundogan joined the FC Barcelona on a free transfer, he will join until the end of 2024-2025 La Liga season. In, after years of playing for different youth teams, Gundogan received his first call-up for the German senior team in August 2011 for a friendly against Brazil, but did not figure in the game. On 11th October, he made his debut for German after coming as on as substitute for the captain Philip Plum for the last six minutes of a 3-1 win against Belgium in the UEFA Euro 2012 qualifying match at the Spirit Arena in Dusseldorf. In May 2012, he was selected in the German squad of Euro 2012. Germany reached the semi-finals, also Gundogan did not play. On 26 March 2013, Kudogan scored his first goal for Germany in a 4-1 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifier against Kazakhstan at the Grandig Stadium in Nuremberg. He scored his second goal in the next match, a friendly, on 14th August at the Drift Walter Stadium in Kaiserslautern. As Germany came from 2 nil down to draw 3 3 against Paraguay. However, he was taken off with a back injury that ruled him out of the next year and forced him to miss the 2014 World Cup, which Germany would go on to win. Gundogan returned to international football on 25th March 2015 in a 2 2 draw with Austria in a friendly. He participated in the Euro 2016 qualifying campaign, scoring in a 7 nil away win over Gibraltar on 14th June 2015, and on and a 3-2 win against Scotland in Hampden Park on 7 September. On 6 May 2016, he announced he it was announced Gundogan would be unable to participate in the Euro 2016 due to injury. He did, however, make the Team squad announced in June 2018 for the 2018 World Cup in Russia on 19 May 2021. He was selected to the squad of Euro 2020 on 10th November 2022. Gundogan was named in the 26th main squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Known for his vision, athleticism. And leadership, Gundogan's manager Pepe Guardiola described him as one of the best players he had worked with. Jürgen Klopp, Gundogan's former coach at Borussia Dortmund, has described Gundogan as an intelligent and complete midfielder with numerous strengths. Although Gundogan had a tough start at Dortmund, where he admitted things didn't hadn't gone as well as I had thought. His willingness to run and great attitude, according to Klopp, allowed him to play a pivotal role in his later career at the club in the deep playing playmaker role. He was able to fit into Dortmund's expressive title by combining creativity and the outstanding passing 
with defensive attributes and tireless energy needed. In his earlier years, Gundogan was often deployed as a wide midfielder, but later established himself in a more central role at Dortmund. Regarding his positional switch, he commented, I can I came to the conclusion that playing wide wasn't my strength. I feel I feel fine playing as a defensive or central midfielder, but I was believed that I also believed that I can hold my own as a playmaker in the 2016 UEFA profile. Phil Robbers also noted that Kundogan excel in a position based team and can dictate a side's tempo. At Manchester City, Gundogan was deployed in a variety of midfield positions, including the holding role. Although he was not statistically as productive as he, his other midfield teammates, specifically in terms of number of goals and assists, he drew praise in the media for his ability to saturate position and create passes for other players. Throughout his career, Gundogan often struggled with injuries. Gundogan married Sarah Arufaro in 2022, and they have one child. Gundogan's cousin, Naza Aydar Demir, is a volleyball player. In May 2018, Gundogan met Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan in London, along with Mesut Ozil and Czech Tosun, two other England-based German-born players of Turkish descent. Gundogan was criticized for referring to Erdogan as my president, despite not being a citizen of Turkey. The instance caused political controversy in Germany, and Gundogan was jeered by German fans where, when playing for the national team weeks later. Erika Gundogan honors in Borussia Dortmund, Bundesliga 2011-2012, DFB Pokal 2011-2012, runner-up 2014-2015, DFB Super Cup 2013, UEFA Champions League runner-up 2012-2013, Manchester City Premier League five times 2017, 2018, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, FA Cup 2018, 2019, 2022, 2023, English Football League 2022-2023, and up 2020 and 2021. Individual honors Kika Bundesliga team of the season 2021-2012-2013, ESM team of the season 2020-2012-2013, English football, EF, EFA Premier League team of the year 2020-2021 Premier League game changer of the season 2021-2022 Premier League player of the month January 2021 February 2021 UEFA Champions League squad of the season 2020-2021 Manchester City goal of the season 2022-2023 Thank you very much for being with us today we are talking about Ikeri Gundogan who is leaving Manchester City to join Barcelona on a two years deal contract. Thank you very much and see you in the other upcoming videos. Bye.